Hello everyone and welcome to the Art of Teaching Art. I'm Mrs Darby and today I'm going to show you how to use a viewfinder to create a line drawing which we will then extend beyond the box and add some shading. So things you're learning with this is obviously you're practicing your shading skills, practicing getting different tones. You're also learning how to use a viewfinder to sketch the section that you choose in proportion with accurate shapes just using lightly sketched lines. So this is my example. I've selected a section and then I've used wavy lines beyond the box and added a range of tones. So things that you will need for this is the layered tracing paper drawing from the previous lesson. There is a video for how to do this and I will pop a card in. Now you will need a viewfinder with some masking tape. So these are laminated with boxes and I've just used a dry wipe marker to divide that in half, half again, and then diagonally as well. The first step will be to select a section from your tracing paper drawing. So you're looking for something that is fairly complicated, but a section that you find interesting that you would like to draw. So I am going to choose a section. So I'm thinking this section here, I'm just gonna tape that down. And then what I need to do is draw out that box onto my page, I'm trying to get it about the same size and shape because obviously I'm going to extend the lines beyond the box. So to start off with, I'm just sketching out the box and then dividing it in half and half again and then into triangles. The aim of this is to draw what's in each triangle like you would with a grid and that helps you get the whole thing in proportion and all of your lines accurate. So just working bit by bit in each triangle to draw out the shapes and lines that I can see correcting that where I need to to add a bit more detail or just change the lines to make sure they flow together and add in any final details. Now just going over with fine liner to just neaten the lines as I'm happy with the shape and accuracy of these lines now and this will help it stand out against the shading. So just go over and rub out the other lines and then I'm going to use a ruler to go around the outside of the box to just finish off that section. So now I'm going on to using the pencil, I'm extending the lines from the edges of the box. Now it's up to you what shape you do, you could do curved, zigzag, straight, it's whatever you want to make it look interesting and I've gone for zigzag on this one. So next up is the shading. So you can shade in lots of different tones but it's really important that you shade neatly in one direction so you don't want any white gaps in your shading, you want it to be nice and even as well and you might vary pressure on the pencil to get darker and lighter tones or you might do a layer of pencil and then go over it again to make it darker. So with these sections I'm often redrawing the line at the edge and then shading along that line. In this section here I'm actually doing some blending so I've started off darker and then I'm blending lighter so a really good opportunity to practice your blending as well. And some different techniques here. So in this one, I'm covering the whole area and going outside the edges of the zigzag. And then I used a small rubber to rub out any bits that went over the line. Really easy technique. And I'm blending in the outside edges to just blend in that outside pencil line rather than it being really sharp at the edge there. So just some light shading. So remember with light shading, you can just use the side of the pencil. I'm holding the pencil just in the middle to achieve that and thinking about some darker tones. Now this is a really nice technique. So if you do two darker bits either side, when you do the lighter bit in the middle, it makes it really easy and a lot quicker to put together. And you will see that just coming up now. So there we go, the lighter tone in the middle of the two darker areas. And doing the same down at the bottom to just fill in those final details, then just neatening edges and going over any last final touches. So there we have our completed piece. So this helps you to explore tone and shading, developing your shading skills, adding blending and a range of tones, as well as thinking about shapes. This could also be developed into printmaking and mixed media. So there's lots of scope for this to be developed further. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day.